today's video is for my fellow bird nerds because we are going to be comparing and contrasting two of the leading Bird Box monthly subscription services. Monthly box subscription services are a pretty popular gift for not only people in regards to like sweets from abroad or jerky boxes I've seen, but they're also popular for pets. And today we're gonna focus on two bird boxes that have all sorts of, apparently, all sorts of toys and treats and other goodies in them. I thought the Squawk Box and the Feathered Fun Bird Box, which are the two brands we're going to be comparing today, I thought those were the only two available, but after some research, after setting all this up, I really realize that there are in fact more brands out there. So maybe if you like today's video, we'll do more of those. But today we're just gonna compare the Squawk Box and the Feathered Fun Bird Box because they at least seem to be two of the leading brands of monthly bird subscriptions. We're going to have all of the items from these boxes tested by our blue and gold macaw Cheyenne. And if you haven't met her before, she is a plucker. We have a bib on her because it seems to deter her from plucking her chest a little bit, but she's our special little girl. So we're going to see if she approves of these boxes too. A couple of quick bits of info for these two brands before we open them up is that the Squawk Box offers monthly boxes for small, medium, and large birds. Whereas the Feathered Fun Bird Box offers boxes for just small, and large birds. So your medium birds, like your Conyers, are gonna be your smaller ones, they fit into the smaller category, and Senegals and like Greys are gonna be considered your larger birds. For both of these though, since we only have a blue and gold macaw, we did the large bird option. Both of these brands offer pay by the month services, as well as kind of group deals for three months at a time, six months, and the Feathered Fun Bird Box offers a deal or a discount for if you buy 12 months of their subscription at a time. There is a bit of a price difference difference between the two though. For the Squawk Box, the monthly price ranges from $35 a month to $45 a month, depending on small, medium, or large bird, and that's if you go month by month. However, there are discounts if you prepay for three or six months at a time, which will get you five or ten dollars a month off respectively. The Feathered Fun Bird Box, on the other hand, is considerably more expensive. This one is $50 a month for the small bird box and $55 a month for the large bird package, but that does go down to $43 and $47 a month respectively for those two sizes if you sign up for the full 12 months in advance. So there, there's about a $20 difference month by month between the Squawk Box and the Feathered Fun Bird Box. But if you look at these two, and I know Cheyenne is covering up half of the Squawk Box, but the Feathered Fun Bird Box does seem to be considerably larger. So you might get a lot more. And that's what this video is for. We're going to open them up, see what's inside both of them, and see which gets you the most for your dollar. You ready to open them up? Sure. Let's do it. Starting with Cheyenne chose. Yep, she decided to start with Squawk Box. Don't poop on it. Let's see what the Squawk Box is all about. She does not seem to. She doesn't care. care. <laughs> Cheyenne, there's toys in here. Let's see what you got. Okay, Squawk Box contains. Oh, we've got a cool toy there. Oh my gosh, look at all of these toys. Look at this, Cheyenne. What is this? Look at that toy. Oh, isn't that going to be fun? Oh, we've got a shreddable toy in here with like the paper. We could even hide treats in this guy. Oh, we could totally hide treats down oh, in that yeah. basket. Ooh, okay. So oh, here's another great shreddable toy. Okay. We've got a foot toy in here. Here, do you want a foot toy? You want this? She never really cared for this. Yeah, she doesn't really do a whole lot. This is kind of for a smaller bird, so I'm surprised it's in the large bird box, honestly. And then but we, we have... We have friends who have small birds. So. Yes, we do. And we've got treats. We've got, oh, talon treats. She found her favorite toy. Yeah, her favorite toy is that towel. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she cares about, apparently. All right, so this is... Star Anise. Star Anise. Try it. Do you want one? No? Mmm. Mm. Try it. Try it. No. Oh, that's super smelly. Like yeah, this does have quite the... Uh, aroma to it. Okay, do you want it? Mmm. Oh. Yep. Nope. nope. She just dropped it. <laughs> She's not a huge fan of those, but I mean, so it looks like this one comes with three decent sized toys, a treat and a small foot toy, at least this month. It's gonna vary month by, by month, of course. How much is this box? This box was, I mean, if you do the month by month and you pay every month, it's 45 a month. If you sign up for what we did was six months, then it's $35 a month. So it took- too bad, actually. Yeah, I for mean, those toys. that's about $10 each toy. I'd say it's a little bit high if you're paying month by month, but yeah. if you sign up for three or six months at a time, which Squawk Box offers 
one month, three months, and six month plans. I'd say it's worth it then. Yeah. Yeah. Then you Those are each about ten dollars. Yep. From my experience. Yep. A little less for this guy. Then you get the, the treats. Yep. Which some birds like, some birds don't. That's mm -hmm. all hit or miss. Yeah. So I mean, that's not too bad. Again, I'd say if you do just the, a month at a time, it might be a little bit high, but then you don't have to go out and buy toys. They're delivered to you, so you're paying for the True. service at that point. But yeah, for three or six months, I'd say that's a good deal. Oh, cool. The Squawk Box also has a card here that has a DIY recipe for a bird treat, a cool fact about the Kia Parrot, so they kind of do cool monthly facts, and it shows where some of their proceeds are donated. That's that's actually pretty neat. All right, we are on to the Feathered Fun Box. What do you Cheyenne think? has chose this one. Yeah, she seems to like it, or she's very proud of herself being on top of it. Mm-hmm, aren't you? You good girl. You kind of out of it? Yeah, you're in a mood. I'm sorry. Okay, well, she wanted to step up. So, it is time to see what's inside. I like the artwork. Yeah, that is beautiful. I like the choice of a mustache parakeet, yeah. too. I guess... I've only known one mustache parakeet in my life. Yeah, um. this is a beautiful box. I will give them that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what's inside. Ooh, Ooh, we got a note we with did. a mustache parakeet on it. Oh, hey, I wonder if he's their logo. That's cool. All right. Aw, look at the sticker. That's adorable. It's eating a cupcake. Aww. Here, Cheyenne, you can help us open this. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, 10 out of 10 for their packaging. Whoa, is there like a theme for artists? Dude, there's art in here. Oh, you know what? I bet this is the bird of her, because I think this is the box of a YouTuber who does a bird channel, and so yeah. she came out with this box. I don't follow her personally, but that's what I've heard about this, so I wonder if that's her bird. And then inside, look at all this crinkle paper, Cheyenne. Oh, you're going to go after it? Oh, what a good girl. You get that crinkle paper. Okay, well, Cheyenne's opening it with me. Oh, cool. Look at this toy. You've got Kind of your basic wooden block toy. Nice. We've got, oh, that's cool. It's like a jellyfish. What do you think, Cheyenne? What's that? Get it. Get it. That's a neat one, too. What's this? That's a big toy, Cheyenne. Oh, look at that. That's bigger than you. She just wants the tissue paper. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? Oh, oh, yep, there's something else. Oh, there's a couple more things. We've got, oh, it's a birdie bagel. That's like really compressed paper shreds. So birds that love to pick at things like cockatoos can like pick this apart and pull all the paper out. And then there's one more item. Oh, never mind, another birdie bagel. And then, oh, we've got almonds in here. Here, Cheyenne, what do you think? You like the bagel? How about an almond? Should we try one? I'll open it for you. Here, have an almond. Mmm. Have it. Oh, nope, that's, that's the, the plastic. Paper. That's the plastic. Here. She's like, I want to kill the plastic. Mm. Oh, lucky girl. Good girl. Well, Cheyenne seems very excited about this box. Not going to lie. I think it was the packaging that really drew mm -hmm. her in. <laughs> and the, the treat. That's and the treat. That's not star anise. Yeah, I mean, for large birds, which this was the large bird box. Again, this one comes in just small and large. I think more birds like almonds than star anise. But then again, maybe the squawk box wants you to try new things. They might also, it might be one of those things where they've done almonds in the past. That's true, yeah. So the first one we get is going to have not almonds in it. Yeah. They want to constantly just give you almonds. That's true. So there you have the Feathered Fun Box. We've got a couple nice toys, one big one, and a couple uh, smaller ones, a treat, and a couple like foot toys. Man, the other one had three toys as well. The other one had a treat as well, and a foot toy as well. So you're getting the same amount of goodies, I would say. Oh, she wants another net. With this wow. box being $20 more expensive, I mean, you're getting the packaging, you're getting, I don't know, like the toys are gonna vary. I'd say the quality of the toys is very similar. So it feels like this one is catered to smaller large birds. Whereas I feel like these ones, I don't know, the, the blocks are a little bit bigger than yep. the blocks here. This is overall a bigger toy than any toy except for this one. So I would say this is your large toy in each one. And then you have your medium toy or I'd say shreddable your toys. shreddable toy in each one. And then your medium toy. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't know, the, the toys in this box, I feel like are better. Okay. They're better for our instance with having a large bird. Yeah, I mean, visually, I'd say this one's more appealing. This one, though, I mean, it's cheaper. So, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for in a box, I suppose. I guess, what do you mean by more appealing? More appealing as it seems more colorful and more full, but honestly, that's just because of the confetti. Yeah. That's why it looks more full. So both boxes have a treat. This one has a foot toy. Mm -hmm. This one has two foot toys. I don't know where the other one is at this current time. The only huh. difference is if your bird likes to play with 
crinkle paper, then you could make the box into a toy over here. But whereas, is it worth an extra $20 exactly. just for packaging? I on honestly side? like the toys in this one better than I like the toys over there. Oh, see, that's funny because I prefer these toys really? over this one. Yeah. I mean, it's more colorful, so I just like colors, I guess. And these look like they're more homemade, especially since they have her information on them, or at least on the one it did. Maybe just that one's homemade. But these, I recognize this toy, and I recognize this toy from Bird Shops. Yeah. So I feel like these almost were bought when they were on sale and then kind of repackaged, which I could be wrong, but these look like they were handmade by the creator. Okay. Now, again, these are just my assumptions based on, uh, yeah, I guess 20 years in the bird world. But for the price difference, I'd say if you're on a budget at all, your bird isn't really going to care. care how it looks when it comes yeah. Out. Yeah, exactly. Even though I think that one's more visually appealing, this is all about the birds and what they like. I mean, in all fairness, this will go to Cheyenne, this will go to Cheyenne, this will go to Cheyenne, and the rest of this, here's that other foot toy, the rest of this will go to our rats. So, I mean, if you're a fan of Marlene McCohen's YouTube channel, this is her box that she came out with for her fans, I guess. I was told by someone who actually is on Patreon, so that's why, what started this whole video. If you're a fan of her, she does have a quality bird box. If you're not a fan of her, and uh, I mean, since she's a YouTuber, that could be why it's a little bit more expensive, well, too. Also, it comes with the artwork, so... I mean, if you like Jersey the cockatoo and you like just having this kind of stuff around your room, I mean, there in itself, that might be worth the extra $20 to have her box. If you don't know of her channel uh, and you're looking just for toys solely for your bird to play with, then the Squawk Box might be a better option because it is $20 cheaper. So it really just depends on, again, what you're looking for in a box. Well, now that we have dissected both of the boxes, if you're still watching, I'm assuming you're probably debating which company to go with or you're just looking at bird boxes in general for your feathered friends at home. If this helps sway your opinion one way or the other, here's a little bit more information about both of these brands. One thing I really like about the Squawk Box is that it states on its website that they donate a percentage of their proceeds to bird rescues. Now I don't know what percentage that is, it just says a percentage on their website. It could be 1%, it could or be half a, percent. half a percent, but they still donate something according to their website to bird rescues, which I think is pretty cool. And they also email you which bird rescue it went to for that month. Oh, do they? Yep. Oh, that's cool. So they tell you where it's going. Exactly. Okay. Go Squawk Box. That's pretty cool. I didn't see anything about donating to bird rescues on the Feathered Fun Box uh, on their website anyway. Uh, that, that doesn't mean they don't donate though. I mean, Marlene has a YouTube channel. This isn't sponsored by the way. FYI. I figured I should probably yeah, say that. Neither of these. We bought these. Yeah, we bought these full money. price. Oh, money. <laughs> yeah. And we just really wanted to compare them. But Marlene does have a YouTube channel so you can probably see what she's doing with her proceeds with her own birds because her channel is about her birds. Uh, I don't know if she re donates to rescues or not, but there's a possibility. As far as shipping goes, both of them, obviously, since we're in the States, both of them ship to the United States and shipping is included in the monthly fee, to the United States anyway. The Squawk Box also ships to Canada for an additional $10 a month, and the Feathered Funds Box ships all around the world for an additional fee. I don't know what that fee is, but I think it's pretty cool that they ship internationally. Like, if you're in Europe, I think you could still get one of these yeah. boxes. Final thoughts. I think it's really neat that the creator of this box seems to build the toys herself, whereas the Squawk Box does seem to piece together toys that they find elsewhere, that they are pretty common toys that you can find in bird stores. I mean, these are unique toys. Between the two, I would prefer the Feathered Fun Box. It is more expensive, so that may be a hindrance depending on your situation, but between the two, I, I think I prefer this one. How about you? I think I prefer the Squawk Box, actually. Do you? It feels like the Squawk Box, it, for the $20, as a fan, you're getting extra things from Marlene, which if you're, if you're a subscriber of her channel or you like her content, would add something to, something of value to the box. Whereas mm -hmm. Squawk Box, since I'm not, I don't see the extra value of the $20. So Squawk Box just being toys straight up seems like a better value to me. Yeah, there really is no right or wrong answer in this video. I'm sorry, I wish, I mean, as easy as it would be as if one came with a ton and the other came with nothing and was more expensive, they're pretty evenly matched. Yeah. Upon further investigation, both businesses lose one point because the clips they use to hang the toys from aren't big enough to fit around a macaw cage bar. So look at this. I'll try to like, if, if that didn't make sense, that's the issue we're running across here. So guys, use, use clips with bigger gaps because I have to use the ones that I save in order to fit these on her cage. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. If you want us to do another video along these lines, let us know in the comments. Maybe we can compare other bird boxes for you so we can really see which is the best deal. Or we could do it for, I don't think there's a reptile 
box, is there? We could look. We could look. Maybe we could, if we can find two to compare, we'll do it for reptile products too, but I don't think that is a thing right now. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching, and as always, thank you to our amazing Patreon backers who actually allowed us to do this, and the idea came from Patreon originally, so when she, this box came out, so we thought, oh, this would be kind of cool to share with everybody. So thank you guys so much for your generosity and allowing us to be able to do this and spoil Cheyenne at the same time. You just want more nuts, don't you? Thank you everybody for watching today's video as well, and we'll see you next time.